So in this case, I need us to consider our introduction to the trigonometry uh, as we are to refer our trigonometric ratios. It's uh, an important part that you ought to understand. Uh, if you are to consider that you have got, uh, remember this is a trigonometric ratio from a function. It can be taken from there. But in our normal understanding, of a Cartesian plan, we do understand that. On a Cartesian plan, let's say we are referring uh, to the x and y axis. Okay, let's just say this is our x and this is our y. We just want to consider a right angle to triangle that can be formulated in the first quadrant. Let's say we've got a right angle triangle taken from the origin this side representing the x values. Let's say this is our x, this distance, and the distance going up is representing the y values. And this is our resultant, which you can just refer as r, the one that you're considering as your modulus before. Definitely, there's an angle that is inside, which is our theta. With this, quadrant uh, or with actually the understanding of our Cartesian plan, just using X and Y of the Cartesian plan, we can formulate the trigonometric ratios. Uh, basically, we do understand the basic three trigonometric ratios that we had from our N3. Uh, if you still remember from your N3, when you're representing uh, this part of our soccer tour like this, you were obtaining the first three trigonometric ratios. The first three. Meaning to say, according to this, the sine of theta, depending on in the first quadrant, what does it mean? Sine of theta is equal to what? Opposite over the hypotenuse. This is what you had. Opposite over the hypotenuse. Where in this case, according to our theta, this is your opposite. This is your adjacent, and you're talking about the hypotenuse. So opposite, that is why the hypotenuse, which is R there. In terms of these letters, talk of the cos. Adjacent over the hypotenuse. When you say the cos of the angle theta is going to be taken like that. If it is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, what is it that you have? Adjacent, that is your x, and the hypotenuse is R. So that is x over x over r. We talk of the tan opposite over the adjacent, meaning to say as you are referring to the tan of theta, you're going to have opposite over the adjacent, where our opposite, according to this theta, opposite is y. And what is the adjacent? Adjacent is x. So that is y over x. We have the basic three trigonometric ratios that can be related. And from these three, we obtain the other three, which are simply the reciprocal of what we have here. The reciprocal, which is the inverse of what we have there. Remember, this is the trig ratio that you have there. Then you consider the reciprocal of that. What is the reciprocal? Simply one over what you're given. The reciprocal of a number, one over that number. The reciprocal. One over that number. So if it is the reciprocal of a sine, it simply means one over a sine theta. And that one over sine theta gives us a sec. So that is where we have these other identities. 1 over sine theta, 1 over a sine. So that is going to give us a cosec. From the inverse, the reciprocal. So if we are to take this to say, okay, a cosec is 1 over a sine, which is true like what we have, and is the reciprocal, meaning to say, we just have to interchange this. The reciprocal simply means interchange what you have there. So if it was opposite over hypotenuse, 
you are going to have interchanged hypotenuse over the opposite. So in actual sense, we can just take this as hypotenuse over the opposite, which is the reciprocal of this, R over Y. From what we had, so it's going to be hypotenuse over opposite, R over Y. In the same sense, the reciprocal of a cos, 1 over a cos of theta, gives us what we call the sec. So the sec of theta is the reciprocal of a cos, meaning to say we have to interchange this now, hypotenuse over the adjacent, r over x. That is what we are saying. From the tan, 1 over a tan is going to give us a cot. So that's where we have got the cot of theta, which is 1 over the tan. And as we had, the reciprocal is going to be adjacent this time over what? The opposite, which simply means x over x over y. The reciprocal of that. So this can be written uh, differently now depending with what you're given there. But this is what you just need, guys. So we saw that the soccer tour can help us to obtain these three. And if you understand now the reciprocal, you find the other three to make six trigonometrical ratios that we consider in our syllabus. And from the ratio of uh, a tan, it follows that from this ratio of a tan, we want us to consider this from tan of theta, you are going to see that we say this is opposite over adjacent. The same tan of theta that we have, it can be written as the sine of theta over what? The cos of theta. And if we say it cot, it's one over tan, the reciprocal. Therefore, it follows that the cot of theta is going to be the reciprocal of this interchange. Cos is going to be on top now. So it's cos theta over the sine of theta. This is going to help us in simplification to understand or to know this. So there's actually nothing there that you need uh, much. Maybe the question is asking you to calculate the reciprocal. It simply means one over what you are given there. If question, it is maybe like that. Maybe you're just given to calculate or to follow, uh, to find using the reciprocal identities. And are you going to use your calculate? Okay. How are you going to find something like the cosec of 45 degrees on your calculator? How can you simplify this on your calculator? You just take the idea that what is it that you are referring to a cosec? A cosec, one over a sign. If it means one over a sign, therefore, this cosec of 45 degrees can be written as one over, which is the reciprocal now, sign. One over a sign of what? The angle that is there, 45 degrees. It's going to be one over a sign, which now you can use your calculator. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you are to use the calculator. All right. So my calculator is fixed to three decimal places. So it's one over uh, sine 45 degrees. I'm going to have this to three decimal places. That's square root of two, which is same as one comma uh, 414. One comma 414. So we can simplify the cosec, which is not on our calculator. We can simplify the sec of 60 degrees, which is not on our calculator. From the same concept, a sec, one over a cos of 60 degrees. And what are you going to have there? The calculator can now simplify. Just like what we have, one divided by cos 60 degrees. You're going to obtain a two. 
from the same concept, you can simplify a court. Maybe a given court, 45 degrees. From what? One over a ton. One over a ton of the angle that I'm given. One over ton, 45 degrees. So I just need to use a calculator and divide that, which is going to give us a one. The reciprocal court, 70 degrees. One over ton, 70 degrees. Court, 80 degrees. One over ton, 80 degrees. Whatever that you're given there. You just need to work with uh, more questions as you are revising your N4. As you are revising your N4. So the question now, it can be of uh, a condition. Like I said, you just need your calculator there. Just press your calculator. You're done. As we are dealing with these trigonometrical ratios, do understand this. Anything can be given. Anything can be given. These are your trigonometrical ratios that you need. The reciprocal of what you are given, one over that. One over that part which you are given. So we shall move on. Uh, in our next class, looking into the same uh, trigonometry that we shall consider the signs in the four quadrants. In each and every quadrant, there are signs that you need to know and how to use your quadrants. So we shall see that in our next class.